Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games. Today we're going to look at Rebus Puzzles in the classroom. Rebus Puzzles, if you don't know, it's an image that represents either a word or a phrase. In my class, I limit it to images that represent a single word. A single word that I know my students will know. So what I'll do is I'll make a bunch of worksheets like this. If you want ours, it's on our Patreon, but you could make this yourself. You what you see on these are a bunch of images that represent a single word. And so I'll assemble some teams in my class, maybe three or four students on each team, and I'll give them each a copy of my handout, and I'll give them an amount of time, maybe 10 minutes. Take 10 minutes and take a look at all of these pictures and write down the word that you think each represents. If the entire class is struggling with a particular one, I might say, okay, in that one there are only four letters in the answer and then they might you know, be able to work it out. But after the amount of time, whichever, we'll go through the answers, okay? And then, you know, if somebody has something that isn't what I think it is, but it makes sense according to the picture, then they would also get a point. This is really just kind of creatively looking at how words can be represented by images. So that's how you do Rebus puzzles in the classroom. We'll see you again next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.